Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. There's a handful of things uh, hitting physical media today, uh, two of which are coming from Warner Brothers, and one is called The Little Things uh, right here. I haven't had a chance to watch this one yet, so stay tuned for a future video for a review. But this one's hitting the store shelves today, starring Denzel Washington, R R Rami Malek, and stuff. It looks like it's going to be really badass. And we also have Judas. Judas and the Black Messiah is another film that's being released today from Warner Brothers. These, these two should be in stores everywhere today. Uh, but good news is that uh, Blu-ray.com is back up and running right now. And some of the new releases that are coming out today, for the first time on 4K is Speed. That's kind of cool. I think there's going to be a Best Buy exclusive steelbook for that one. We also got the Black Cauldron being released from the Disney Movie Club. That's the, that's the first time it's being on Blu-ray. I think that's pretty badass. Big Fish is coming to Blu-ray. Cold and Ice is uh, coming to Blu-ray. And there's another one that, that, that looked like it was coming to Blu-ray today that I was kind of like, oh, that's kind of cool. And that's MacGruber. Uh, I think that's that Shout Factory putting that one out. That I'm not sure. So we're going to head on out. Hit some of the usual places, some thrift stores, Best Buy, Target, and stuff like that. So let's go out there, see if we find anything cool today. Well, everybody, at my first stop of the day, the Hope of the Valley. Let's head on in there, see what we get. But also, guys, stay tuned to the end of this video for some new, for, for some new DVD and Blu-ray reviews. Well, just made it into Hope of the Valley. Taking a look at seeing some of the different DVDs and Blu-rays they have over here. Maybe we can come across something cool. The Harold Lloyd set, a uh, DVD set right here. Looks like it's marked at four bucks. Right here, all this shit starting to fall. We have like a handful of people working on the other side over there. But hopefully we come across something cool. We'll see. We shall see. The Patriot. I heard this one was out of print. Like on Blu-ray, if you guys could find us on Blu-ray. I, I think it may be out of print. I could be wrong. That could have been a couple years ago. Let me see here. There's a couple of hand, hand, brand new factory sealed ones. The Grapes of Wrath. And here they got some, some you know, newer things in here. Emily Rose, that was all right. That was okay. Ooh, we have a super bit. You guys remember the old super bits in here? You know, from back in like the, what was it, like the late 90s? Super bit DVDs. That's cool. From Eternity. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. We, we shall see if I find anything. If I do, I'll let you guys know at the end of the video. It's just getting out of the thrift store now. Found four things. Uh, that I'm going to be able to put up on my eBay store. I think that's kind of cool. Nothing super crazy, but some cool old school flicks. Well guys, made it on over to the next destination of the day, The Beast. Let's get on in there and see if they have speed. I think there's a steel book. Oh, they look like they do have big fish. It's $34.99 for the 4K. That's a, that's a little much uh, for big fish on 4K, but a good movie, good Tim Burton flick. I don't see myself needing to upgrade that one. Right there, you get Michael McGrory is in here. The guy that was uh, Tiny, I believe, in uh, House of a Thousand Corpses and stuff is in that flick right there. And uh, not seeing anything different. I may have to check the new release rack on this side over here to see if they got anything going. Because isn't there, isn't there, oh, they do have the Dread. They still have the Dread Steelbook. Two seconds later, I come across the Speed. Uh, here on 4K, there's the um, the standard Amory edition, which I kind of like that slipcover. I kind of like that art right there with uh, Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves just like on the bus looking like that. I kind of like the, this Amory edition of it. But they also have, not put that there for a second, but they also have the Steelbook edition. This artwork's okay too. It says limited edition Steelbook. The difference is it's only like three bucks. Uh, it's only like two or three bucks difference in price. But I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. What artwork do you prefer? The Amray edition or the Steelbook edition? I kind of wish the Steelbook edition had this artwork on it, in my opinion. But the Steelbook, Steelbook, is, Steelbook is cool. Damn it. Hmm. Just got out of Best Buy. Got one thing in there. Did I get the Steelbook or did I get the Amray? You have to wait till the end of the video. Well, guys, that my next destination. Target, baby. Let's head on in there. All right, let's see what Target has to offer today. They do have uh, Judas and uh, uh, all up in here, the DVD and the Blu-ray. And it looks like, unless I missed it last week, because I don't think I came to Target last week, Dirty Dancing, they even <laughs> have their own little uh, steelbook edition of the film, with a little slightly variation, a slight variation on the artwork right there. That's cool, that's cool. I think the one at Best Buy is 4K. 
Of course, they have the pretty little things uh, in here as well. I need, I need to get to watching these two and probably talk about them uh, in my next week's hoarding up video. But they, at least they have, at least they have the new ones in today. Of like the, the you know, the bigger-ish, uh, you know, kind of stuff. But man, I'm not gonna lie. From all the walking I've been doing lately, like <laughs> my left knee has been feeling, it's been feeling kind of weird. Like yesterday and today. You know what I mean? So I need to probably take it easy for a day or two and then, then get back at it or something because, uh, I mean, it doesn't hurt. It just feels like, okay, enough walking, you know what I mean? Kind of feeling, like, I don't know how to explain the feeling on it, but whew, it's annoying. But guys, in the comments below, let me know, which one should I watch first? Which one do you guys recommend the most that I, that I pop in first? Judas and the Black Messiah or uh, the Little Things? Let me know down below. Which one should I pop in first? Well, over here at my last stop of the day. No, well, not really my last stop of the day because I'm going to go to another thrift store after this. I'm just not going to film in there. But I'm at Walmart. Let's head on in. Well, let's see what Walmart has to offer us today. And it doesn't look like they really put any of the new releases out on the new release rack today. They do have this thing called Safe at Home. I Isolation is a killer. Looks like one of those, you know, uh, Zoom type fucking movies. I don't know if I can really get into those style of things. I don't know if I can get into those kind of style of things. They also came out with Crisis, which was a couple weeks ago. But yeah, they're not really updating the, the new release rack over here today. They still have a couple copies of Adverse left uh, down here, $14.96. But uh, what is this? Chinese speaking vampires. <laughs> what the hell is that? This could be kind of rad. It's put out by Echo Bridge. Uh, huh. I may have to think about that one. I may have to like look up a trailer first and all that, all that jazz before I would jump up on that. But you know me, I love me some martial arts flicks. And they do have this one. It might have been out before. Uh, interviewing Monsters and Bigfoot with Tom Green. Yeah, I think this one might have been like a week or so ago. This, this one looks kind of, kind of interesting. I always kind of like Tom Green from the Tom Green show. Uh, you know, back when. And uh, yeah, back, you know, back... Back when TV was cool, or at least in my opinion, you know, like the original Jackass and Tom Green doing doing his crazy stuff. But other than that, Senior Entourage. What is Ed Asner? We have uh, Jamie, Ed Asner and Jamie Lee Curtis. What is this? Okay. Another Echo Bridge title. I guess Echo Bridge is starting to put out some more stuff now, like on a more regular regular basis this is definitely one i'm gonna have to look up a trailer for i don't know if i want to spend full price on something like that it could be cool but who knows kind of surprising though that walmart and best buy didn't have the two big new warner brothers titles you know uh the little things and uh, uh you know the other one the uh black messiah and stuff they didn't have that at all it's kind of weird that the, those the two bigger stores didn't have it but target did because target's usually the store that you know you don't really find anything in for the most part but uh it is what it is but guys let's head on home right now uh, for some dvd and blu-ray reviews and i'll show you guys what i picked up today at the thrift stores let's go now on to the pickups slash reviews uh of this video right here i'm gonna show you guys the pickups and then i'm gonna move on over to items i got sent to review from different companies uh and studios i work with uh, picked up a lot of stuff today out there in the stores. Uh, one of which I'm keeping for my personal collection. The others are going to be right on my eBay store. Probably the time, by the time you're seeing this video. Link to my eBay store is in the description box if you guys want to check it out. Show us some support. You don't have to, but if you want to, the link's always there. Uh, but the thing I picked up at Best Buy was the Speed Amray Edition. Slip, you know, slip cover Edition. I just had to get this one. One of my all-time favorites uh, from the 90s and stuff. Uh, I kind of, like I said earlier in this video, I kind of enjoyed this artwork more than the, than, the, than the Steelbook one. Like, if the Steelbook had this look to it, I probably would have jumped up on it, but I got the Amray one for now. And these are, the other stuff I picked up was at uh, two different thrift stores uh, I went to today. Uh, most, of, most of which uh, was at um, uh, Hope of the Valley and stuff. I picked up uh, Yogi Bear. Uh, 3D Blu-ray right here. It does. There's no digital code or nothing, but the discs are in pretty damn good condition. Blu-ray and the Blu-ray Blu 3D. You don't come across this one very often out there in the stores. Uh, a movie called King of Kings, an old school Warner Brothers flick from 1961. I uh, picked that one up right there. Uh, Eastern Condor, one of my favorite uh, Samu Hung uh, action flicks right here. 
You know, he did a lot of movies with Jackie Chan, uh, UMB Out and stuff, you know, back in the day. And uh, this one sells for pretty decently online. I already have this one in my collection. I'm just like, hey, maybe I can make a, a few dollars. Uh, the other one I picked up was, these. The rest, some of the other ones are like old school stuff. Next couple. Uh, this one right here is the Easter Parade. This one has, um, uh, I believe, yeah, Judy Garland in it and Fred Astaire. This is like the two disc uh, special edition uh, release of the film uh, right there. A lot of, lot of special features on this bad boy. Uh, brand, new factor, brand new factory sealed uh, Grapes of Wrath. Uh, here on DVD, uh, Henry Fonda. Uh, I think I, I, I think I believe I have this one on uh, in my collection as well. Uh, this one right here, Lion Lion of the Desert. Uh, here on DVD, this is old school flick with Oliver Reed. I uh, found that out at the thrift store. And also this one, Moulin Rouge. Uh, brand. This is brand new factory sealed as well. Uh, this is kind of cool to come across. But the find, the find of the day, next to Speed on 4K was this right here to find this used it's kind of hard but to find it brand new you know in the shrink wrap factory sealed and shit it's kind of crazy and uh that's a movie that came out back in 2000 on dvd the movie's 21 this dvd's 21 years old and it's you know still brand new and it's one of my personal favorite uh documentaries that came out uh, back in like 2000 american movie uh, this is great. If you guys have never seen American Movie before, I highly suggest you check it out. I don't know if it's on any digital uh, platforms or not, but great, great flick right here. If you've never seen it, it's about these two guys trying to make a movie called Coven. And uh, just, you know, the weird stuff that happens along the way. Great stuff. Great character. Great. These guys are some great characters right here. And used, used uh, this DVD. I already have this one in my collection already, but this one used sells for about uh, 20 to $30. So I can maybe get 40 Maybe 50 for this. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But that's all my pickups I picked up today. Sorry if you hear the um, the gardener outside. He's starting to like do his thing. So forgive the sound quality if it gets crazy. Uh, I, did, I do have a handful of things here I got sent from different studios to talk about and review for you guys that I got sent for free uh, to review. And the first two up uh, I want to talk about here uh, were sent to me from 88 Films. These are the very first two review products I ever got from 88 Films. I believe they're based out of the UK and all Region B. So you have to have an all Region player or a Region B player to be able to play these movies here. And the first one up right here is just a classic. And that is Short Circuit 2. Uh, this one actually came out today uh, on Blu-ray. If you guys go to 88films.com, uh, you can pick up this this edition of it. I, it's, it's, I think it's a limited one because it comes in a nice hard box. And uh, I, I keep the plastic on some of my stuff if, if I can do it. You know, like a, a really nice, you know, sturdy hard box. This is, a of course, a classic film uh, from back in the uh, late, late 80s. You know, about Johnny Five, the robot that's alive and he wants input. Input. You know, if you love if you love that stuff, you know you know what's up. But it, it comes with the uh, the Amray inside the box right here. It also has a it has a reversible art, which is you know pretty much the same as this. Uh, in here, I just turned the artwork around in here, so you get the you know different kind of art when you open it up. And uh, you, you open it up. The disc uh, the disc is in my Blu-ray player right now. And uh, you get a handful of art cards uh, with this release of the film. The movie the, the movie looks fantastic fantastic on blu-ray you get a hand a whole buttload of uh, special features in here a new uh, 1080p transfer of the film uh uncut for the very first time uh you get some interviews with some of the cast and crew uh theatrical trailer and a whole bunch of other like commentaries and stuff on this uh blu-ray disc right here you also get a a really thick thick booklet uh, talking about the making of the movie with its different pictures and you know uh, you know this little uh, um, you know this little write-ups about the movie uh, right here with Johnny Five you see him right there Johnny Five he's alive and this is now this is cool I don't know if I'm ever going to hang this up or anything I'm probably just going to keep this in the in the actual uh, you know Blu-ray case but you get a fold-out poster with Johnny Five just hanging out right there uh, Short Circuit Two and you turn it around. And has a reverse uh, picture, you know, uh, poster on here, so you get two different, you know, posters if you want to, you know, put the, put it up on your wall. I think that's rad, dude. I think that's rad. I'm not 100% sure how limited uh, this is, but like I said, you need an all-region Blu-ray player to play it, or a Region B uh, player to, to to play these discs right here. Great looking set, great looking uh, Blu-ray transfer 
on this film. If you've never seen it before, I highly recommend checking out Short Circuit 2, especially if you grew up in the 80s and you love the 80s vibe of stuff. That's a movie for you. But next, next up from uh, 88 Films, is uh, one of my top two favorite Jackie Chan films of all time, and they just released the Blu-ray today, and it should be out on their website right now if you want to buy it. I kept some of the plastic on it, but uh, that is Snake and the Eagle's Shadow. Uh, this is directed by Yen Yu Ping, this, I believe the same director that made uh, Drunken Master, and it was you know starring the same two people, Jackie Chan and uh, uh, Simon Yen, or Sam the Seed, or whatever people want to call him. And uh, this is a beautifully, beautifully done set right here. And uh, it's pretty much about Jackie Chan's character, uh, who's uh, at this martial arts school, you know, pretty much like the maintenance guy, like the guy that has to, like, you know, clean up all the shit. You know, uh, whenever the masters or the bat, you know, the people that are running the school, you know, uh, you know, want want something to get done, they have to make him do it. He's he's pretty much like the bitch boy, you know, of this martial arts school. And he's just like, come on, man, I just want to learn and like, you know, you know, better himself. And uh, until one day he comes across this old man, this old beggar, and uh, they become friends. And he's a master, and he teaches Jackie Chan how to fight back and what technique to use to fight back and to better himself. And they, te they team up, and you know, there's an epic training sequence uh, in this flick right here. If you've never seen Snake in the Eagle Shadow, great flick. I have it on uh, DVD, and I have the, the Blu-ray that came out uh, from Time, what's it called, um, Twilight Time. They came out with Drunken Master and this one. But this is such a better transfer here on Blu-ray. Nice new killer artwork right here. A lot of new special features. You, you get an interview in here, I believe, uh, with the, what's the actor's name again? Uh, Ronnie, Ron, Ronnie Horan? Who was like the guy that played the, the preacher uh, in this movie. Like the guy that's like pretending to be the preacher. And stuff in here. And like you know a couple of other like audio, audio, audio commentary tracks by like film historians. And you know things like that. You get like the, some of the original artwork uh, of the film right here. Uh, it's like you know you can reverse it and have it, have it be the same artwork as this. But I just turned it around so it can be something different. And man... Great, great looking transfer. This is the best I've ever seen this movie look. I'm not just saying that because I got this uh, for review, but this is also, like I said, one of my favorite Jackie Chan movies of all time. Comes with a handful of different art cards uh, from the film. There's no big fold out poster for this one like there was for Short Circuit 2. Great flick. And 88 Films also has a big, a big library of Jackie Chan stuff on Blu-ray right now. And if you guys saw like a recent unboxing, I bought a whole bunch of stuff from them, and I was just like, I gotta get like Shallow. They have Shallow and Wooden Men. Uh, it was called New Fist of Fury. They have for sale on their website right now. A whole bunch of other stuff like Fearless Hyena. And uh, 88 Films. If you're watching this, if you got, if you have an extra Fear, Fearless Hyena, uh, you know, slipcover, let me know because there's a couple of mo couple of ones I have that I bought from you guys that. Didn't come with a slipcover. If you guys have any extra ones, hit me up, message me, let me know. Uh, but yeah, guys, these are out right now uh, from 88 Films. Great, beautiful transfers. So, so, so happy that these are on Blu-ray right here, man. And uh, hopefully hopefully, sometime down the road, maybe 88 Films would, would get Drunken Master and do like a new beautiful uh, you know, remaster on that one or something as well. But great, great stuff from 88 Films. Thank you, 88 Films, for sending those on over. Uh, but next up over here, I got sent from, um, it was, was it 20th Century Fox? And that is Norma Land. Uh, this one right here stars, of course, Francis, Francis McDormand, who we all know from Fargo and a bunch of other cool stuff. In this one, she kind of plays a drifter. Uh, a person that uh, just sort of lives off the... Live, lives off the land and she you know she works odd jobs here and there to make money to get by and stuff like that like she works at amazon like an amazon fulfillment center and she kind of like you know lives in this like little sort of kind of like a hobo camp sort of of like people that are just sort of like living off the land and just trying to get by as the best way they can without having to like deal with like you know like pretty much living off the grid uh is what i'm saying and it just follow, follows her and her her journey and you know what what she does what she does in her life you know how and how simple it is uh great 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 performances in here by all uh that i that i saw on this flick uh really wonderfully shot i really enjoyed this movie but it's also not a movie i see myself watching over and over again kind of like you know like snake and the eagle shadow or you know, like short circuit 2 it's kind of like a probably like a one-time watch uh for me a uh, kind of movie it does have um oh wait i thought it has yeah, it has, it has like uh, it was called uh, it was called Francis McDormand doing a, a Q and A uh, at, at a premiere with a director and some deleted scenes. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it yet, I, I recommend I recommend renting it, checking it out. But like to buy, 
it really wasn't my really wasn't my my cup of tea like something I would watch over and over again but that it, it is it is a, it is a really greatly acted film and next up over here I got sent from screen media and that is uh, Willy's Wonderland I've had this one for a little while I haven't talked about it yet but uh it stars Nicolas Cage that in this movie, whole movie, he doesn't say a word. Doesn't say a damn word uh, in this whole movie. And he plays this guy who uh, his car breaks down and he needs to get his car. He needs to get his car fixed in this in the, in this small town. And he doesn't have money to pay the guy to get it fixed. So he ends up uh, having to work at Willy's Wonderland, who's kind of it's kind of like a you know like a weird Chuck E. Cheese, uh, you know, for for the night to try to help pay you know for the car you know to fix the car. But yet he doesn't know that the, the the animatronics in this place come alive and that are like they're possessed and they they, they want to kill, and it's just pretty much him trying to survive the night, but being a badass at the same time. And uh, it, it, it was cool. It, it was it was kind of cool. Uh, it kind of reminded me of uh, the Banana Splits movie, kind of in a way. But like, I don't know. I like this one, but I didn't I didn't love it. I didn't love it. You know what I mean? Like it was cool, cool, but I didn't I didn't absolutely love it though. And next up over here is also from Screen Media, and this is a movie I got a couple days ago, and it, was, it stars William Shatner and Christopher Lloyd, and it's called Senior Moment, and it's uh, pretty much about William Shatner's character, who, uh, you know, he, he likes living in the fast lane, but yet he's in his twilight years, and uh, he's always like, you know, he likes being on the street, uh, you know, in, in his nice little his nice little cars, and like trying to race young, race young people down the street, say who whose car is the best, and you know all this kind of stuff until he gets his uh, his license taken away, and kind of like smacked down back to reality. But yet, you know, he is, has like you know these ideas of grandeur, but he's not he's not as young as he used to be anymore. Uh, and Christopher Laurie plays his friend. And uh, I, I found this movie to be kind of funny. I chuckled out loud uh, a couple of times. It is kind of hard to understand uh, Christopher Lloyd in this movie and uh, cer certain areas in this movie. Like he, he's he kind of like he's kind of has like a, gra a gravelly voice now. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of hard to understand some of the um, his lines that he was trying that he was saying. That, that could have just been me, but uh, I still love Christopher Lloyd, man, I, and I always will. Uh, great, great fun, uh, you know, uh, light, light comedy flick. I dug it. I dug it. Uh, but thank you, uh, Screen Media. This one's out, I believe, uh, it should be out now or next week, uh, in stores everywhere when it comes to Senior Moment. And the last one I got right here, uh, I didn't, I didn't check it out. It's still, you know, factory sealed and stuff, but I just want to showcase it to you guys because I feel old. I got this sent from, uh, what's was called, um, uh, Paramount, I believe, and, uh, you know, DreamWorks. And I feel old, dude, because this movie is 20 years old now. And that is Shrek. And this is being released for the very first time on 4K. And, uh, man, it, it comes with a bonus disc. It includes four hours of fun uh, on here. Like a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, karaoke, like a karaoke party. Uh, you know, five mini shorts on here. You know, mini cartoon shorts. And uh, I heard, I heard the transfer on this is amazing. I had, like I said, I haven't had time to check it out yet because I've been trying to focus on my health and you know, you know, get, be being more active and moving more and trying trying to eat less, and uh, you know, so I'm, I'm just trying to you know work on myself lately. So I've, I, if you notice, I, I I take my time when it comes to trying to watch things these days. But uh, I just want to let you guys know that uh, Shrek, the 20th anniversary edition, uh, will be out uh, or should be out now or next week in stores everywhere. And uh, if you love Shrek. Definitely, definitely give it a watch if you've never seen it before. Great movie. Great movie. And for you guys that don't know, Chris Farley was originally going to voice Shrek. He actually recorded some lines, you know, recorded a lot of dialogue for Shrek 20 years ago. And then, he, you know, of course, Sally passed away before, I believe, finishing the movie. And then Mike Myers took over took over the role of, uh, of Shrek. For you, guys, for you guys that don't know, it's, it's kind of common knowledge uh, out there. But yeah, cool movie. Got to check it out on 4K sometime soon. But guys, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you made it this far into the video, type in I feel old in the comments down below so I know you guys made it. And I'll catch all you knuckleheads on the next one. Ta-ta! <laughs>